pussy, getting bullied by his four-year-old sister. He's like 12. What would I do if I could go back in time? I don't know. Probably figure out the reason why R.L. Stein never answered my fan mail. Maybe order more Goosebump books. But I don't know. There's something about these books that always bother me. Like, uh, for instance, Werewolf of Fever Swamp. If my child were wandering around the swamp and then were kidnapped by a swamp hermit, I would either call the cops or just move out of that fucking shithole. And Werewolf Skin, that's another one. Why would Alex's aunt and uncle agree to take him for an extended period of time if they knew that they were werewolves? Like, oh, I guess we could put a lock on his door, and if that fails, we're going to eat him. Like, how are you going to explain that to your brother? Careful what you wish for. I'd ask for, like, $2.5 million a year and for the IRS to stay off my ass. Night of the Living Dummy. More like Night of the Living, light that bitch on fire and watch it burn. It's a dummy for Christ's sake. Stop running from it. Just kick its fucking head off. <sighs> Scarecrow walks at midnight. It's another case. Why don't you just tell them that it's not a good weekend to take your grandkids because your mentally handicapped handyman has a scarecrow doing his bidding? The Haunted Mask? This guy just has an entire inventory of masks in the back that he doesn't sell. How does he turn a profit? <sighs> Guess these are the questions best left for R.L. Stein. Still wish he would answer my fan mail, but whatever. Just chock full of 90s bullies and parents that just don't understand.